Greetings Commanders, Dinebot here and welcome back to Elite Dangerous and another tutorial beginner's guide video. Today we're taking a look at a third party tool that can actually be used for more than just Elite Dangerous. This is Voice Attack. Now, in its simplest form, to break it down, Voice Attack is a program that when I give it a command, it will press that button in game for me. So let's go ahead and launch. Ignition. Shields optimized for departure. Thrusters operational. Engaging thrusters. Prime. Launching. Now, of course, this wouldn't work if I didn't have an auto launch module in my ship. The game would have simply pressed the launch button and voice, uh, voice attack would have pressed the launch button and I would have been away. I'm going to go ahead and deactivate that. Now, you will have heard several voices there. So, voice attack can either use Windows text to speech uh, and. We are elite! I will explain that in just a moment. Windows, you can either use Windows text to speech and program in your own commands and responses, or HCS Voice Pack makes a variety of packs. You'll see I have Singularity uh, for Odyssey Live selected there, and I actually have two crew members, Vasco and Ripley. You can have multiple crew members and you can assign them to run different stations on your ship as if it were a real starship. So what you're hearing there is uh, Vasco has got tactical and uh, number one command and Ripley has got the helm. Uh, essentially is how that is working. So, afterburners. Afterburners. Boosting now. Power to engines. All power to engines. So you can use it to do a variety of things. The benefit of using the HCS voice packs is that they have a lot of program responses. Uh, that was what you heard a minute ago also, is they have a lot of dynamic things where Vasco just screamed, we are elite. They can react to things. They can talk to each other. Uh, they help you automate a lot of stuff on the ship and kind of give you that immersive, you know, role-playing fantasy of, hey, I'm in a super advanced spaceship, and what if I want to do something like Galaxy Map? I want to see the places that have no name. And there, we're in the galaxy map. Close galaxy map. No, you daft bugger. Engage FSD. Engaging jump drive. A lot of them have different personalities. As you can tell, Vasco is a little silly. Ripley is very no-nonsense. Uh, there's quite a lot of them. So this program also will work with Star Citizen and Only Dangerous. I believe I've even seen that it can be used in Helldivers. So it is a very versatile program. It is great uh, for just immersion, or if you are a disabled person, it is something that can be really useful. Now, if you keep a watch on the window there, it is reliant on Windows text uh, speech recognition, and sometimes it doesn't do a very good job. Uh, that is just speech recognition software in general. You need to tell it things very, very carefully. Think of talking to Siri or the Google Assistant or... Gemini or chat GPT, you need to be very specific about what you say and how you say it. Uh, it's just not perfect yet. So that is maybe a drawback, but if you really want to kind of have more of that Starship Commander fantasy or want to spend more time with your hands on your HODAS and not messing around with keybinds or multiple thumb switch multiplier, things like that, you know, this is a great alternative, and I personally find it pretty fun to be able to tell my ship what to do. Now, we're going to go ahead and head to Prove Love City here and show you one more thing about the interactions with the HCS voice packs. I am by no means shilling for HCS. I just do find this extremely cool. Uh, you can program this stuff yourself, but it will take you an awful lot of know-how. Uh, I have programmed some fairly complex commands into voice attack before. At base level, it is not hard. You give it a command, and then you tell it what button to press for how long. That is that is the bare bones of the program, but getting some of this other stuff to work is fairly impressive and can be really fun. Uh, given enough time, you could do it yourself. So as we close in here, uh, one thing to note, too, is that um, it is not something that you should rely on in a combat situation if you really need it to pop a heat sink or something like that. Press the button yourself, because if it mishears you, you're probably in a world of hurt. It's good for targeting, things like that. Um, things like not moving power around. Balance power. Power balanced. You know, stuff like that, but by no means should you rely on it to save your ass in a combat situation, because more than likely it's not going to. But for just simple commands, 
It is fun and easy. Disengage. Disengaging Super Cruise. And if you do have, as I said earlier, if you have like the auto dock on, like I do just on the ship, because I am lazy when it comes to flying a Type 9, then you can get some interesting little interactions like we're about to demonstrate for the end of the video here. Request docking. Requesting landing platform. Take us in. Okay, Commander. Help control. I'm here. The ship is yours to dock. Confirmed. One quarter impulse. One quarter impulse engaged. You are clear for automated approach, Commander. Rearm and repair when we land. Rearm and repair when we land. As you can see there, that command is not being recognized properly. That's Looking good. How voice chat goes sometimes. And I may have the wrong command as well. There are hundreds of them. Uh, you can add some of your own lines to customize things. And I'd like to reiterate that this is not the voice chat program flying the ship. It is simply using the auto dock, but it's doing it in a kind of more immersive fashion. And At the end of the day, that is very much what voice tech is about, unless you are somebody with a disability that really could benefit from it. Uh, it is about immersion, about the fun of being able to give voice commands. So as we come in for docking here, guys, I landing like modules deployed for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like landing and thrusters. If you have Readying landing thrusters. Check out for you, Initializing you landing tutorial. procedures. Go ahead and leave it in the comments below. And if you're here till the end of the video, watch Times Key on YouTube. So thank you very much. My name is Dianbot. I'll see you guys next time. Touchdown. Securing the ship. Bravo! Commander, the ship is yours.